Greetings, mortals! This is I, the Gamer, and welcome to my next episode of Let's Play Sonic Mania. Yep. Last time we did Flying Watery Zone, and now we're going to a brand new stage Press Garden Zone. Which has a lot of pretty interesting gimmicks and bannings from Mushroom Kill Zone for some reason. Okay. We're at the press factory and we're just traversing through it. And we've got a brand new original track. That is always 12. And gimmicks from Launch Base Zone for some reason. Yeah, it seems to have references to Sonic 3 a lot. Sonic 3 enough, plus I should say. But this game is essentially Sonic 3 and Knuckles 2. And Splat is here. Yep, Splat was uh, the unused enemy from Sonic 1. And a lot of fun. fun. Uh, fans seem to love him, and that's why the crew from the Sonic Mania crew decided to add him here as a new enemy. He's also, in his normal version, he's also in the debug mode, I believe. Yeah, I think there's one more reference to Splat somewhere. I think he was called Splat. If I'm wrong, please someone correct me in the comment section. I know that he was supposed to be in uh, Sonic 1, though. That's an unmistakable fact. And we already got 50 rings. But not going super yet. Yet, Splat, or whatever the hell your name is, was... Not that me. Okay, yeah, what was I saying before? Besides the things about that bad nick? I don't really remember. Oh, whatever. I just traversed through here. Oh yeah, I was saying that this game is essentially Sonic 3 and Knuckles 2. Phrenic. Phrenic. <laughs> Sonic 3 CD and Knuckles and Knuckles. <laughs> For anyone uh, that gets this reference, you get a cookie. Oh, we're supposed to go up. Damn it. Don't do this to me. Mount me up higher. And release this part. And look out for this blade. We should remember that metal blades are OP. Because we all play Mega Man 2, right? And I should have seen this coming. Yes. How can I even do it right now? Panic from Marshall Kill Zone, please don't interrupt me. Don't mess. Up my game, please. And this gimmick sometimes throws me up a little bit. That is interesting. What I could really do without it. Damn it, I want those rings. Right. Okay, Tails, we're going there. Tails, go. Go down, please. And one more. Okay. Good. Good by Tails. See, Tails is useful sometimes. Okay. But just look at the background. So many things is happening in the background and it looks beautiful. And we also got another life. Huh. That's an interesting glitch. This never happened to me before. Oh yeah, let's go up. Okay, avoid that enemy. And go here. There's also an achievement that I'm supposed to get somewhere around here. Somewhere being related to the fire shield, but I I don't remember wh when, where we're supposed to go. It's one of the few achievements that I haven't got yet. But I'll get it eventually. I just don't want to right now. Okay. Don't do that, Miss Cut. Or whatever the hell your name is supposed to be. I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to go there so badly. Oh yeah, thank goodness that Super Sonic has his own separate uh, 
uh, button, unlike Sonic uh, 2 and Sonic 3. You have to... You can map this button to whatever the hell you want. It's W for me. And yes, I'm playing this on a keyboard because classic Sonic always felt to me for, felt more natural for me to play on a keyboard. I play modern Sonic games with uh, a pad, but for classic, I just like to go with a keyboard. It's just comfortable for me. PC Master Race. Uh, not really. I do love the uh, games on consoles, but I always game. I game more often on on the PC. And we got another boss with another gimmick that's kind of annoying. You have to break his arms by making him slam them to those boxes, but we're going to just through the rules, going to Sonic and ignore this damage. We would have taken some of this from his blades. Yeah, but we beat the first act, and what is this? Snow and Sakura petals are falling down. Wait a minute, is the stage going to completely change in the second act? Well, we'll see in a moment. Yep, we're now outside. We're in the garden part of this press garden. And the music changes nicely. It's so soothing and damn cool, man. We've got our... Uh, We've got our ice stage. It's pretty damn cool. Whoever thought that uh, combining uh, Sakura trees with uh, winter stage is a good idea, then he was right. It's a fucking beautiful idea. Look how beautiful this looks. What the? What? Get a drink. No, but seriously, look at the background. Sakura trees in winter. No one is falling and so are the Sakura petals. And the music is so freaking soothing! That was a great idea! One bad thing about Sakura petals in real life is that we have to wait till spring to see them. But with this stage we can get them in winter. Which break the rules of nature to put the hell care. It looks beautiful, right? Okay, this guy drops icicles on us, so... And freezes us. So, better look out for that. And look out for that frozen spike. Okay, I could use those... This shield. And not lose it immediately after. I say that. Okay, but let's just continue. I don't think I've been in this part of the stage. And we're frozen again. Just jump around to break free of this frost or freeziness. What am I even saying anymore? Ow, 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 oh, there it is. See, this is how the uh, blue ring power up works. We just get a bunch of big rings that fall out. So that we lose a bunch of uh, big rings instead of small ones. And those big rings contain some parts of the overall number of rings we had originally. What am I, where am I even going right now? And I got a life. I didn't even notice when I got so many rings. Um, excuse me? Music, where are you? Damn it, a glitch! A lot of people have been saying that uh, uh, the music sometimes glitches out in this game and stops playing after a while, but I never gotten this glitch before. But I'm getting it right now when I'm doing the let's play. Damn it! I'm really sorry, guys. I'll try getting supersonic and see if this helps making the music uh, resume. I hope so. Oh wait. It's the boss already! Oh, we didn't get to enjoy the music. What? Ah, oh well. We have another hardball heavy fight. It's the heavy Shinobi right now. It's very... He has a very interesting boss fight. We have to bounce him when he's doing the spin attack. And then 
about to into him again, and he can freeze us with his soul damage. And he throws that, those buttons from Meta Metropolis Zone as the uh, Ninja Star. This is pretty freaking great concept for a boss. Seriously. Uh, jump into him while he's doing the spin attack. Damn it, damn it. Get those rings. Good job, Tails, on hitting him. Don't freeze me again. Avoid those ninja stars. Those Ostara? How the hell were they called again? Damn it. Ring, my ring, my ring. Damn it. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Don't get hit by that explosion star. Ah, damn it. Not good, not good, not good. Hit it Not like that. Oh, we beat him with zero rings. That was lucky. Oh yeah, that was pretty much it. Man, this short went too quick. I mean, this... We finished this act really quickly. I well, usually spend more time here. And I guess it's true. You, when you ha having a lot of fun, time sure passes quickly. Oh, hi Eggman, hi Phantom Ruby, the world though! And where is he transporting us now? Well, let us see. It's stopped the speedway in the path! Yep, that's an interesting place to end up in. And yeah, this episode just overall went by really quickly. I'm kind of surprised. But yeah. Let's just end it right here. Next time we're going to start the speedway, which is gonna be pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that has been all for this part. So if you like this episode, then please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and follow me on social media for more. That has been Space the Gamer, saying out. Peace, folks.